Monty life to be an adventure. Meet George. He's 72 and he loves music. But it tends to slow down when you get dementia. And he's been in a care home in Bexhill for three years. George is determined to spread positivity. Life doesn't have to end when you get something like dementia. It carries on and uh, you seem to retain a sense of humour. Well, I did anyway. To mark World Alzheimer's Day, George and his music therapist, Laurie, posted this video. He wrote the words, she wrote the tune. It helps bring back memories of uh, when I was a lot younger, because I used to do a bit of singing. I just enjoy it so much, it helps me relax. Just keeps me focused on stuff. And music is so powerful, isn't it? Particularly with memories taking you back to a particular... Definitely. That's a great reminder. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. Laurie is the maestro behind the mask. He couldn't recall writing the song, and I think it took about a week for him to... Um, you know, believe that he was had written such an amazing thing. <laughs> He's, he was really proud of himself, and he, you know, he was like, "Did I write that? God, oh, I'm good, aren't I?" Because that's <laughs> that's what George is like. Almost every family is touched by dementia. This family is forever grateful to music therapy. I was very touched and very moved. It's a very personal thing, his music, and the fact that my dad sat down and wrote those lyrics himself um, meant an awful lot to me. And I was actually I was <laughs> getting choked up now. I was quite moved when I saw it. Very moved. And George, naturally, is already writing a follow-up. Don't be shy, don't be flops. It's never too late to get on top of the pops. <laughs> Dementia's cruelty is random. George's response is admirable. Just get on with it the best you can. <laughs> Simon Viger, 5 News.